not too loud. Okay. So, uh, let me just get a bunch of my stuff ready to go here. I don't know why I have my headphones on. I've been so used to um, playing playing games at nighttime and uh, putting on these headphones and stuff. Uh, but I don't need that right now. I don't need that right now. Let me just make sure that everything's good. And all right. So today I'm gonna finish up. Uh, I'm gonna finish working on this sword, and then we'll uh, start moving on to the next uh, asset that I want to work on. And uh, we'll. So the goal is to just. Uh, do a little bit more polish work on this uh, sword here and then what we're going to do after that is we are going to hold on let me just i, I wanted to change a few things here uh, at work i've been changing my tablet settings so that i have it just on one screen uh so uh i want to continue to do that uh screen there we go because I have a small tablet pen, so um, it just makes sense for it to to have as much space, surface space as I can on my tablet, um, and so I'm I'm putting it onto my main monitor, and then so yeah, uh, I don't want to get too much of a tangent here. Uh, so on my to-do list to finish off this asset, I have texture sheath detail, scratches, dust, and dirt, and then adding more cameras and stuff like that in Marmoset. So hopefully we can finish up all that um, by this um, by this week, and then post those up onto YouTube for everyone who um, could make it, watching it live or whatever. And uh, so yeah, cool. Um, so let's 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 just get right into this here. So first and foremost, uh, we need to kind of start adding some layers of uh, like dirt and scratches and stuff like that to this. So let's go in and do that right now. Um, what is going on here? What happened to my um? What happened to this? Right? Do you guys notice that? Like, what the hell just happened here? Why is this looking really low res? Um, what just happened? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Texture settings, 248. I'm pretty sure it was fine last time I checked this. What happened here? Um, leather... What happened here? I don't remember this being a problem. Huh. Let me see what happened here. No, that wasn't it. Huh. I don't know what happened here. Um, this definitely wasn't a problem last time. Crossed curve. Okay, well, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Um, that is a little bit odd though. Shouldn't look like that. Now, the reason why I'm saying that I'm not too worried about it one a lot of the cameras right now are not really it's not really showing a lot of that hold on i feel like my mic is a little bit loud i'm just gonna bring this down a tad bit um so yeah so i don't know i'm not gonna worry too too much about it for now um obviously it's not looking the way that it should obviously right OK, 
Okay, let me see if I can just use maybe. Let's look something like this. Okay, and what happens if I go bring this down? Something tells me it's my graphics card or something like. I did recently change my graphics card, but. I don't know, it doesn't seem like that would be the problem though. Okay, so let's just make this like 20 or something for now. Um, and then for, uh, sure, let's do it like that. Sure. Border width, let's just like that. There, kind of fixed, good enough. There we go. I save that quickly. Uh, yeah, don't know what's going on there. Um, I did res I did just fix or change some of my registry uh, stuff in my settings because um, Substance Painter was complaining about my um, some of my settings. I did get a new graphics card, so I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so let's uh, let's get back on track here. So let's uh, let's add in a few scratches and stuff like that on the belt and on the um, on the belt and on the um, on the sheath here. Now I'm looking at I don't know what this is. This dirt. Let's see here. Let's see dust. Like I'm looking at this part right here. I don't know what's causing that dirtiness that's going on um so i just kind of want to check out plastic dirty is this coming from there nope is it coming from the steel yes it is coming from the steel so uh this the dirt i think okay so let's switch the dirt so i need to go into the dirt here i'm just gonna go to the paint i'm gonna uh uh mask uh black here and just kind of paint that out all right, because that dirt was pretty, pretty extreme. Um, like I probably still want to keep some of it. So hold on, let me just. I probably want to keep some of it, but just not so. Not so heavy. Like it was quite heavy, right? So I'm just gonna go maybe use what kind of brush here? Uh, let's go to brushes instead, and let's go to maybe bark, and uh, let's just kind of brush this away nice and lightly there you go there cool okay cool 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 oh man I hate the zooming and stuff in here there we go um, maybe I'll have it a lot cleaner there and there okay um, so we'll do that uh, some so some scratches now so let's add some scratches into here um, I'm not really seeing many oh that's for the steel let's go for the leather let's add some scratches to the leather so um, so that's kind of what we have there let's go add some just general scratches on this. Um, mm, 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 mm. Uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe not. Maybe maybe we don't add scratches. Maybe we'll add scratches to the gold. How about that? Uh, let's add some scratches to the gold. So surface detail. Um, let's go and create some surface scratches. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a new layer. And then we're going to add in a black mask. And in this uh, layer, uh, we're going to have roughness, uh, no metal, and then just normal. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll have some metal. We'll see. Metal. Uh, let's make it uh, all white there. And then for the scratches, we're going to go like negative two for now, just so that we can see it. And then for the mask, we're going to go to smart masks for now uh, to kind of help us do 
uh, a lot of the the work for us. And we have little subtle scratches. We're gonna put this into that layer. We're also gonna call this scratches as well. Okay, so now what we can try and see is if that had done anything, right? Uh, I'm not really seeing the scratches. So what I'll do is I'll crank up the height a bit. So I'm not really seeing anything that's going on here inside the armor. Um, I'm not really seeing the scratches right now. Um, so what we might be able to do is maybe so I'm not seeing that anything at all. So wear level. Like I'm not seeing the scratches at all here. Um, so that's worrisome. Interesting. Okay. So why am I not seeing anything right now? Come on, why is this not happening? Why is there no scratches going on? I wanna see. Uh, wear contrast. Okay, this is not good. I'm not, I'm not seeing anything right now, so. Okay, so let's scrap this then. Uh, okay, maybe I need color? I don't think I would need color. Let's see, let's turn red so that we can see it. Yeah, so I'm not seeing anything right now. Hmm. That's very interesting. I'm not seeing anything changing at the moment. Everything's very subtle. Okay, so what happens if I do this? Okay, what happens if I do this? If I go layer, and then I go scratches. Okay, there's a new layer. Um, add black mask. Uh, I'm gonna paint in here. In this, we're gonna go, the height is negative four, and then let's just put in some scratches. Right, uh, let's kill the color. Let's kill the metal. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. So there's definitely something going on here. Oh, hold on. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it is, it is actually doing something. Um, Okay, so it looks like I might just have to go in and paint my scratches manually. Um, let's just rotate this. All right, and we might have to just, like I said, we might just have to paint a bunch of these off ourselves. And what I'll do also is I will, I, th I think I will add a color to this. And I'm going to eyeball that and we're going to make this a little bit lighter. And then the metal, we're going to call this pretty like that. You're not seeing too much of the detail, that's the problem. Now what happens if I go, if I crank that up? And I think it's because the base metal here, it's, it's so metal that it's not really giving us much color, right? So let's see here, that should be like this. Um, 
cool. And then if I bring this up, see, so right now I'm not seeing anything. Like I'm not seeing anything change right now. Right, so I don't know what's going on here. Go, that's veins. I want scratches. Scratches, 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 scratch, scratches. So let's go scratches. And yeah, like I'm not seeing any scratches. Um, let's go flow. Let's make this there. Okay, so that's a little bit much, obviously. So I'm just going to put some general scratches on here. It's obviously not showing up and like that well, and I think that's mostly because of um, just the metal that I have in there. Like I'm not seeing it. Okay. All right. Well. Let's not, let's just scrap this then because this doesn't seem like it's, like it's not adding anything, right? And then if it doesn't add anything, then uh, I lie, it does add a little bit, but I just don't think that's worth it. Like it's not doing enough. So, so yeah, so we'll just have to play around with some of this then. Um, surface details, some of the surface detail stuff is kind of cool. So we might have to play around with some of the some some of this stuff. Um, Gaussian blur. Uh, you know, dirt. Okay. Okay. So now let's let's add some dirt into onto here. Uh, so the steel had some dirt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take. I'm going to take. I'm going to duplicate this dirt layer. And actually, no, I shouldn't. Actually, I will. Let's see here. Uh, so I'm going to take this dirt layer and I'm going to move it into this gold here. And then, uh, so obviously the mask here is uh, it's going to be a tad bit different, obviously, right? So let's try and add a little bit more. Okay, so what's going on here? This is starting to drive me crazy. Okay, so if I just go, there we go. Okay, so let's just uh, do some brushes. This is definitely not going the way that I planned it to. Um, let's go with more like dirt. That's too much. Um, let's bring the flow down a bit. Let's bring the spacing, uh, space, space it out a little bit more. Um, I'm just gonna bring this down a little bit more. We're just gonna add some more dirt onto here. Um, just adding dirt, collecting dirt. So it's just collecting dirt onto the gold. Uh, I feel like it needs to be a little bit stronger. I'm used to paint. This has been my go-to. This paint spray. It's done, done me good. And then we'll we'll add a little bit at the top here. Uh, yeah, I'll add a little bit more to the top here. There you go. And we'll add some more dirt. We'll bring this down a little bit. And add a little more 
dirt there. Definitely lots of dirt down here. This is probably where it would be the dirtiest, right? So we're gonna add a little bit more dirt here. And just a little bit more sp sprinkling of dirt everywhere. Kind of give it that sheen of dirt. Um, it's not perfect. Right. There we go. There you go. Yep, so there you go. So now it just looks a little bit more dirtier, like it's been used. Right, it's been in a few wars and stuff, right? Cool, cool, cool. Um, all right, so there's that dirt pass. Um, and then we probably want to add some of that dirt to... So what happens if I bring this all the way up? Yeah, see, so now this is kind of like dirty everywhere. So this is like overall dirt. All right. It's like dirt. All right. So now this might be a little bit too dirty. So if I would just go to X and I'm just going to go in there. Oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, and I'm just going to paint this out a little bit. Because it makes sense that there is dirt on the handles as well. But this is just a little bit too dirty. So I'm just going to go in. I'm just going to paint this up. I'm going to press tab to go into like pro mode or whatever. Um, or less UI mode so that's easy for so you can just focus on what you need to focus on and I'm, I'm just holding a uh, shift and right click to um, move the uh, to move the camera around or sorry the light around all right so this is overall dirt so this is like super muddy right it's like hasn't been clean I don't want it to look like that everywhere so I'm just gonna go in I'm just gonna clean some of this up like you want it to be used but not this dirty like this looks like it doesn't take care of his weapons at all um, which is not what I'm trying to convey here I do want him to have dirt on it but not this much dirt this is a little bit too much so I'm just going in and I'm just uh, cleaning it up a tad bit still leaving that general dirt on there but just cleaning it up uh, let me just check to see if there's anything going on in chat here hey what's up Dan Rorty sorry I uh, haven't been checking chat hopefully everything's doing okay um, so there we go I'm just gonna paint this out There we go. I'm just gonna paint this out. It's looking a little bit dirty. Yes, I do work in Vancouver. Um, yeah, I guess it's I guess it's Vancouver. I mean, the studio is in Burnaby. Uh, but yeah, I mean, but yeah, it's it's pretty much Vancouver. Yeah. Don't want to get too technical. You know how it is. Like big cities have like smaller uh, cities around it or whatever. Um, but yeah, I, I, I live or I work and live in that in that vicinity in the Vancouver area uh, Yeah, so I'm just going to kind of go in and just clean this up just a little bit here and There you go. So now we have our little dirt pass on here uh, and it looks more like mossy kind of like dirt, right? It's not the generic like brown dirt. It's more of a Guessing you're at Capcom. No, I'm not at Capcom. I'm at EA, actually. Uh, Capcom is right across the highway from us. Um, okay, so there we go. Um, so, all right, and then now uh, let's just do the general dust pass here on it, and then we're going to call it. It's been fun working on this thing. Uh, but I am glad that this is gonna be gonna be done soon. So we're gonna do dust pass here on this. Okay, so here's the general dust. So this is obviously a little bit too much dust, right? So we're just gonna go in and we are going to just uh, nope, nope, wrong button. We're going to add a paint layer here and then from here we get to go in and modify where we want this dust to kind of be 
Um, there shouldn't be too much dust, right? Because, I mean, obviously he's been using it. Our friend Jon Snow. All right, so there we go. Just going to go in. going to try and clean this out here. I guess those are the two, I mean, people forget that there's also Microsoft here, right? Um, a coalition is downtown in Vancouver. Um, seems like a lot of people tend to forget that. Uh, oh yeah, they're also here as well. Um, Nintendo's down here, uh, as in um, Next Level is, is, is in town. Uh, they're the ones who did, who did the Mario Strikers, Luigi Mansion, uh, I believe Punch Out for the Wii and stuff like that. So uh, they're also in town. So yeah, so Vancouver is a very big hub when it comes to uh, video games and stuff like that. Oh wow, cool. oh, that's awesome, man! That coalition, damn. Uh, were, were you a lead uh, artist or? Just going to continue to just uh, paint out some of the dust that was kind of put on here. We just want a little bit of dust in it. Right? You don't want too much of the dust everywhere. Character guy. Okay, that's cool. Some of the characters in Gears of War looks awesome, so... And uh, congratulations on that game, by the way. Uh, from what I hear, it's it's done well. Um, so, congratulations on that. And uh, yeah, I mean, whereabouts are you working now? All right. So I think that's pretty much all we want to do here. Uh, hold on, there's a bit of too much dust inside the middle of this. Just gonna clean this up just a tad bit. Let me just double check. So it's it's also a lot of dirt. So I'm gonna have to go clean that up as well. And let's just go here. Oh, you started your own studio. Wow, congratulations on starting your own studio. Um, whereabouts are you, is your studio? And uh, I mean, I'm sure you can't really talk about what you're working on, but uh, I guess what are what is... Okay, cool, man. Well, it was nice chit-chatting with you. Um, best of luck on your studio, by the way. And uh, who knows, maybe in the near future or something, we'll uh, bump into each other since you're in town. All right, take care. I mean, I guess that's one of the cool things about live streaming is sometimes you'll run into people who um, work in the same city. Um, I mean, I'm sure we probably have some mutual uh, people that we know because I because I do know a couple of uh, coalition guys that just moved over to EA. Yeah, so it's it's such a small industry here um, that it's like you're bound to bump into people um, that know somebody. So it's pretty cool. All right, so I'm just gonna save this. I think this is pretty much done uh, at this point. I mean, you know, it's just one of those things where art, like you can just keep going on, going on, going on, going on. Um, but it's one of those things where I'm happy at where it is. And so we're just gonna kind of package this, um, export out the textures and stuff like that. And then we're going to start doing some renders and stuff in Marmoset. And then I'm excited to kind of uh, show you what my next project's gonna be. Um, it's gonna be again, just some small little props and stuff like that. Um, and then, so yeah, so let's just export. So I saved that, I'm gonna export out the textures. Uh, they're gonna be inside the same textures here. Couldn't create export directory. Okay, so hold on. That was pretty loud too, so I'm just going to, um, Lower down my volume. I didn't realize I had my volume up so high. All right, so export here. Uh, what is going on here? Saying something about like emissives and stuff like that. I don't have emissives, so I don't know what it's talking about. All right, so let's uh, take a quick look here. Make sure that everything's okay. We got our textures. Looks like everything's good. All right. 
save again one last time. Uh, and then uh, let's go to Marmoset. I don't know when was the last time I loaded up Marmoset. I think it might have been in my laptop. So it might, yeah, okay, yeah. So give me one second. I'm just going to, I'm going to be getting an email to log in or whatever. So I'm just going to do that right now. That's one thing that I really love about Marmoset. It's just so easy to um, move between computers and stuff like that. Um, so massive props to them. All right, so here we go. So that is the, this is the, I, I believe it's already updated with the textures and I can tell because of just the dirt and stuff like that, it's already applied to it, which is kind of cool. Um, let me quickly make sure. So, all right. So I said here in my notes that I wanted to create um, some more cameras with like close-ups and stuff like that. So we're gonna go to our main camera first and we're going to kind of figure out what would be kind of like a cool camera angle um, to kind of show off some of the neat details of this asset. So maybe something like this might be kind of cool. A nice close-up shot here of the asset, right? So I'm just gonna add a camera. We're gonna call this camera four, that's fine. Let's go back to the main camera. And I mean, we've spent time on the skull, so I do wanna spend time looking at it. Not the skull, the, what's that called? The wolf thingy, the wolf skull, the wolf handle. So we'll, we'll definitely take a shot here. Uh, let's add another camera here. Um, and then, so that's with the sword. Okay, so so we, we, we've done that, right? Now what do we wanna do, I feel, is also this is with the sword in what happens if I duplicate it and let's call this sword separate maybe and then what we can do is we can take the sheath oh sorry oh no what we can do here whoa what's it, I don't want the catcher, no, no catcher. I don't want the catcher, I just want these things, okay? And when, maybe this time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the sword maybe kind of on top of it maybe, kind of like leaning on it. So we can kind of see the sword and again, this is probably where I should be like taking a look and seeing how people would display their swords and stuff like that, right? So, cause I mean, eh, it doesn't look right, you know? Like it just doesn't look good. Maybe we, we do like a, like a little X thing like this. Um, so this is where uh, research would really come in handy. Just kind of figuring out how people would display their sword. Right, so you don't want to crash too much into the asset. I don't know, something like this maybe. So yeah, so this is where, you know, doing some research really, really helps out. Um, so let's just go into Google here. And let's just go like sword display or, and then you can kind of see how people lay out their swords and stuff like that. Um, so let's go sword renders, renders, and then we'll just see some cool examples. So this is kind of cool, kind of just having the sheath out like that. Um, so that's kind of cool. Right. See, yeah. So it seems like that's the 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 normal way is they have kind of the sword there, and then the sheath kind of right just laying next to it. 
so we'll probably go with something like that so nothing too too fancy i see i was trying to get all fancy but like this is just the nice normal so let's just do that okay so let's just do something simple something simple just like that right and then this is angled a tad bit so i'm just going to angle this back Angle this just like down. Let's bring this back down again. Um, I think it's kind of like that. Bring it down. Perfect. And is it still angled? It's okay if it's a little bit angled. Yeah, so something like this would be cool. All right. So we have. Uh, so I'm just going to move this. Can I move this there? Okay, perfect. So now I know that for this icon, so this these cameras here are is for this like prop, right? Or this view or whatever you want to call it. Um, and then for this shot, that's when I'll add new cameras here, okay? So maybe for this one, we have it laid out more like this right something like that let's add in another camera um, and then let's go to main camera oh damn it, I screwed this up okay so it's like this and then let's go to main camera again whoa and then have this is a kind of a cool shot That's kind of cool. Okay, uh, add camera here. And then let's try and get... Maybe this shot. So now the sword is kind of more of the focus. So let's add the camera here. All right, cool. So now we have a bunch of our camera shots and stuff like that. Um, now let's start doing some of the effects, the post effects and stuff like that that we want. So let me just quickly save this because now we have uh, a very different scene compared to when we first started. So let me just save that. Check on chat. Nothing in chat. How are we doing on time here? Looks like we're doing pretty good on time. Uh, after I finish this renders, then I'll just talk. Uh, if there's time, I'll quickly talk about what the next project is going to be. And then, um, oh, what's that called? So we're going to do that. Finish the renders. I probably won't do the renders. Like, I, I'm not going to show you when I press render because it's going to take up too much of my computer. My computer is not going to be able to handle it. When I upgrade my computer uh, to uh, a new more powerful PC then maybe I'll, I'll I'll be more gutsy and I'll do it but right now it's just no way no way okay so let's go to camera three I already have ooh, camera three so uh, I already forgot but I need to turn off that one and then turn on this one because this uh, long sword underscore low is was positioned the way that I wanted to with these cameras uh, one to five right so camera one is fine Camera one still looks good. Camera two, camera three, camera four is the new one. Okay, so camera three or four right now uh, is not like in frame and stuff. So I'm just going to camera four, select that. And then I'm going to, um, I want the gate on. So let's see if I can, so the safe frame is what it's called. Okay, so this way I know what is actually being captured. So you see this, this square here. Uh, anything that's in the square is going to be rendered. Everything that's outside and darker is uh, not going to be rendered. So this way you can now position your camera accordingly, right? So we got something that looks like this, right? Um, but I feel like this was supposed to be like a close-up camera, right? To show off this kind of detail in here. So we'll we'll do that. Okay. Um, I'm looking at this leather right now and when I render it, if it's still looking too shiny, then I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna dial back the, uh, the smoothness and the, the smoothness on the leather, okay? But for now, uh, so that's the shot here. 
Uh, I'm going to turn on uh, depth of field. We're going to middle mouse click on probably like the leather. And then we're going to um, change the max bulky bulky size. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry, I'm butchering that. Um, and I'm just going to kind of just bring it to a decent spot so that things are like this is blurred out a little bit um but just a tad bit right so no that's too much i just want it to be blurred just a little bit just slightly there you go something like that i think would be nice okay and then um what i'd like to do uh, normally uh is put in a, a vi some vignetting so i like to kind of so I usually go for one. I think two is a little bit too strong. So I like to go for um, one. And then I like to go to softness of one. Right, to kind of put it into frame here. This might not work because now this kind of blocks away some of the stuff that I want to show. So I might dial this back. I might even, you know what? I might not even have a, the vignetting on this actually. Um, so. Ooh, that's not good. What is this by default? I don't know what this is by default. Uh, point one maybe. Maybe. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill the thing. Um, and then for yeah, so that might be okay. I don't know. The, the vignetting does look nice, so I might. I'm just gonna turn it down. Maybe point five. And then I'm just gonna go to point one. There we go. Something like that would be nice um cool okay so that camera is looking good so now let's go to camera five and i believe this one was also supposed to be like a close-up i think am i right or am i wrong am i right or am i wrong i can't right, camera four so we got that four six, what's six six and five look almost very similar so let's just go. So let's go camera five. So camera five, we're gonna put the safe frame on as well, and then again we're gonna kind of zoom in. And this time, I think I'm gonna go from this view here to kind of look at this, right? So let's see. So let me just quickly look at the, my cameras. I want to make sure that I don't have cameras that are a little bit too similar. So camera three. So that one does look a little bit similar to this. So I might want to change that one. This one is a little bit more zoomed in with the skull. Uh, camera six. So for camera six, we're going to turn on um, this sword. But you have that one. And then camera eight. So camera eight and camera seven are identical, which is not very good. So for camera eight, let's go right into down there. Okay. So camera seven, we have that one. Camera six, we have that. Camera five is now looking at the wrong prop there you go I'm gonna turn off this prop here uh, camera four so I'm looking at my cameras and we're missing the sheath like just looking at the sheath like a detailed shot of the sheath so I think we need one one more there so let's see so that's kind of cool then again there's not that much detail at the bottom there so there's no point of like highlighting that area Okay, so sorry, I'm totally flip flopping here. So let's go. Let's just focus on five right now. Okay, and then we're going to turn on uh, depth of field. We're going to focus on the skull on this one. Now, again, the bulky, the bokeh size um, is a little bit too strong. So we're just going to nail that down just a tad bit. All right, so that there is a little bit of uh, blur, blur going on, but just not so much, right? And then we're going to um, we're going to do some vignetting. We're going to go strength. We're going to go one. So maybe something like that. 
Um, yeah, okay. That looks that looks cool. That looks good. And then, so now we turn on this one. Let's turn this off. Camera six, we're gonna do the exact same thing. So in camera six, safe frame. Again, I know this stuff is like pretty, pretty boring stuff to watch, but you guys have been asking for like just my full process on how I do this. So I figured it's just worth it for me to cover everything at this point. Uh, but you know, feel free to give me feedback. If you, this is just too boring, then you guys let me know, and then I can just do it for a little bit, and then I'll just like cut cut it out or um, or whatever, right? So here, so we're gonna do depth of field again. Now I feel like depth of field might not be worth it here because everything kind of you want it to be in focus. So I'm just gonna not turn on depth of field there. Uh, I will turn on a little bit of vignetting. And again, I, I could be pronouncing vin, vignette wrong. Okay, cool. There we go. And again, I mean, you can do all this stuff. You can like change your exposures and, and do all that stuff, right? Um, you can change your contrasting. Whoa, geez. Nope, that's not what I want. Whoa, that's not what I want either. Um, give me a sec. Um, you can do all that stuff there. I find doing a lot of those things in Photoshop is probably easier. So I, I don't um, focus too much on that. Okay, so I like that. Camera 7. Now this one. Again, I don't know if I want to put a focus on anything. Like, I do want everything to be focused. Uh, but let's turn on depth of field. Let's try focusing... Nope, sorry. Camera set. Oh, oh no, that screwed up camera six. Uh oh. Okay, so camera six, depth of field. Turn on the bokeh. There you go. Sure. Camera seven now. Depth of field focus a little bit more on the sword I guess because we have a lot of shots where we're focusing on the sheath so maybe this one will focus a little bit more on on the sword itself Okay, so something like that, and then we'll turn on the vignetting again. It's just it's just simple, simple things here. We're not doing anything fancy, right? And last but not least, the last camera here. So the last camera. Now for this one, I feel like we already for camera five we have the focus being on here already. So maybe for this camera, we, oh, let me turn this off. We just focus on the overall. So let's just do that here. Um, so let's go to depth of field, turn that on. So let's just focus on, let's focus on that, and then we will move. There, something like that, right? I think that looks pretty cool. And then we'll move this softness to one. We'll crank this just enough there. And there you have it, okay? so. That's essentially what the shots are going to look like. Now, I'm going to turn this off. Now, one thing that I've already mentioned that I'm not digging right now is the material. I feel like it's a little bit too shiny, like the gloss. 
so I'm I'm probably gonna crank this down just a little bit now I need to get really close so let's take a look at one of the cameras here camera three maybe or camera four like where I'm zoomed in because right now the it's really so the metallic Let's just go with one here. Oh, sorry. So metalness, I'm just gonna, cause right now it's pretty, I'm just gonna go maybe point eight, right? And then the, I'm just finding the, the reflectivity is just, just a little bit too much, like the gloss. It's a little bit too much. So I'm just gonna crank this, that's a little bit too much right so let's just go maybe point three on there so yeah so there let's just crank this down just a notch here I still feel like it's quite glossy though like that's not right right okay maybe when I render it it won't look as bad but so yeah so if you're interested to see how these renders turn out check out my art station that's where I'll be posting it I'll probably post up some pictures on Twitter uh, stuff like that uh, let me just quickly save this I'm not gonna do the renders like I said because it's gonna take um, a little bit too long to, to, to do the render. You know what? Let's just do one render. Just so that you, just so that you can see um, how this works. So I'm just gonna capture, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go image and open. So F10, it's gonna do its rendering. Uh, this is gonna lag a little bit. So there we go, it lagged just a little bit. And then now you can kind of see the render here. Okay, so that's the render. Um, let me zoom in. You can kind of see all the little details there. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of the the work of it. Um, so yeah, so, uh, so I guess that wasn't too too bad. So I guess I can I can quickly do renders of all these. Was it uh, F10? So F10. And it's gonna open it up. Here we go. All right. Um, camera two. F10. And there you have it. Right. So it's just all of these are gonna be rendered. Okay. So that's essentially what I'm gonna be doing for all the cameras. Um, so yeah. So let's talk a little bit more about what the next project's gonna be. Uh, so the next project is going to be a little bit more of an experiment for me. It's going to be me kind of learning uh, Z-Modeler. So the next thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making this. So I'll be modeling uh, in Z-Modeler and I'm going to try and create this asset right here uh, in Z-Modeler completely. So modeling, uh, UVing, and then texturing and substance uh, painter. So that's the idea. Um, so I'll, I'll be creating, you know, the controller, I'll be creating the cartridge for this, uh, the SNES. Um, this is specifically the game that me and my cousin played a lot when I was younger. Uh, and my little brother, we play this a lot. So this is very nostalgic for me. So I can't wait to actually start modeling this. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be the next project. Hopefully, uh, that'll be fun for you to watch. Now, just a warning again, this is me learning Z modeling. So, um, it's going to be a little bit rough at times when I'm trying to learn the tools, especially live. That might be a little bit frustrating for some of you. Uh, but if you do know how to use Z modeler, I mean, feel free to, um, to chime in and chat and, uh, and help out. Um, but yeah, so, so yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much and, uh, see you guys again next time.